Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunderous Productions tutorial. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, everyone, and welcome to version 2 of my Typhoon Class Submarine tutorial. This should be a fairly easy build, guys, except for the tail section, but no worries, I will have each section of this build broke down to make it a lot easier. All information about this build, a texture pack, or my main world can be found on the screen right now or in the description. This design was actually made during the construction of my Ohio class submarine build. During that build, I realized that version 1 of the Typhoon had some areas that needed improving upon, and the main diameter of the sub was just too damn big. I hope everyone likes this new design and enjoys this tutorial. Please show appreciation by clicking that thumbs up button for me or saying thanks in the comment section. All my designs are free to use however you choose. All I ask is that you give me credit for the design and link my video and channel in your description if you upload it anywhere. Alright, that's it guys. Enough with the main intro bullshit. It's time to get this fucker started. So sit back, relax, grab a handful of nuts, kick yourself in the face, and let's get this shit rolling. Alright guys, before we get started, I want to go over a couple variance differences between version 1 and version 2. And then I'll go over the sizes too real quick, and, uh, and then we'll go ahead and get started. So those of you returning from the first sub, this is what you built the first time. And it was 192 long by 48 wide and 45 high. And the 48 is from outside fin to outside fin. So that was my first design probably over a year ago now. And I have come back. And when I was making my Ohio class submarine, like I said in the beginning, I decided that when I put it in next to the Typhoon, it didn't quite look right. So I wanted to redesign it and, uh, and make it look a little more sleeker and not so chunky in the back. So I went back through and used just about the same measurements from measurements that I got off of Wiki. Uh, so this is pretty close, and all, all my builds are pretty close. They're not 100% accurate, and um, this build is in inspired by the hunt for red october this is not the red october <laughs> had some controversy over uh, version one here the past couple weeks before making this tutorial about what kind of class sub it is and all that it, it, this is based off the typhoon class i pulled up typhoon images and uh, and also on the wiki to make this and like i said it's not 100 percent accurate guys none of my builds are 100 percent accurate but um they're close enough and they're fun so I'm, and i make them easy for everybody to do but anyways uh, enough of that 198 long so it's just a little bit longer, and it's 45 wide, and that's outside fin to outside fin, so that's pretty close, and uh, and 35 high. And the tower is exactly the same, guys. All I did, I took some, uh, about three, or f I think three layers out of the top. So when we get to that, if you've already done part one, and you remember how to do that one, that'll be real simple for you. And, uh, and that's pretty much it as far as that goes, and I want to show you a couple designs back here that I had. All right, these two over here should have been included with the schematics from version one. Uh, I thought those were really neat designs, so uh, I included them in the first pack. Uh, I didn't repeat the killer whale look on these, but I did come up with some other ideas. Uh, nothing real drastic because, like I said, I had several pictures, and uh, some of them were just a little bit different. All right, so as you can see from the back here, this is the one we're going to be building, this one right there that's got the, uh, the shrouds around the propellers. Uh, I had an open propeller design, uh, two different ones. This one over here, the only difference is, is it doesn't have the shrouds around it, and it doesn't have the side stabilizers. This has the shrouds, uh, doesn't have the shrouds around it, and, and it has the side stabilizers and a little bit bigger uh, diving board back here for uh, for helping the submarine uh, take its dive position, whatever the fuck you want to call it, guys. But anyways, all this stuff here, guys, will be in the description, so you can have it. Uh, I think just this one, the main one, will have the interior, which again is 100% complete as far as I'm going to do to it. Uh, the other ones are just hollow designs, so you can go in and use them however you like. But just be sure to give me credit for the design, guys. I, I appreciate that. All right, let's go over here and we'll look at one more thing, and then we're going to start building this. All right, so this is how we're going to break the tutorial down. It's into three sections. We're going to have the nose, the center section, and then the tail section. The first two sections will be really, really easy. And most of this will be pretty easy too until we get around this tail section. But we're going to do it all in one piece. And just like we did the first one, we're going to layer it up from the bottom. All right, so this is the design that you're going to be building underwater. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And right here is your water line, guys, right there on that block. So 13, 14, 15, and 16 high. All right, so go ahead and get that structure built. And let's start on the first layer. 
All right, guys, I went ahead and changed over these front pieces to a different color wool. These are going to be our checkpoints for lining up the front. So this is what we'll build off from. And like usual in my tutorials, guys, what I do on one side, you are going to do to the other. All right, so we're going to have three across the front and then five and then two rows, of, uh, three rows of seven. Oops. You fuck stain. <laughs> I'm fucking up already. <laughs> All right, there we go, guys. All right, just like that. All right, so layer two, we're going to do four like this. We're going to put another one right next to it and come down into this little new, uh, nugget right there. We're going to drop back one block and go right there. We're going to drop back one more block, and then we're going to take this to the back of this section right here. We're going to drop back another block and go back again. And then leave two blocks exposed, one, two, three, and four. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, next layer, we're going to go two, four, and six. Bring that layer back one and do another set of three. Come back one and do four, or three, excuse me, and then do four here. Leave two exposed and run this to the back. And then the one on the outside, leave three exposed and put three blocks on the outside. And do the same thing over here. Next layer, two, four, six. Drop back and do three sets of two, just like that. Leave a block exposed and do three. Leave two blocks exposed and do four. Cover up this last block and do four right there. Do the same thing over here, guys. All right, next one, we're gonna go three on this side of the block, just like that. Now we're gonna make like an M. So an L pattern and then another uh, L pattern, just like that. I'm gonna go back one block, go back another block and put one here. Go to the outside, one, two, three, and then four. And same thing over here. Start on this side of the block, one, two, three. Go back one, make it two, go over one here, come back to the outside, go back two, and do two more sets of two. One, two, so you're resting on these blocks right here. Go to the outside, one, two, three, four, and five, and make sure you're setting on this block right here. Go to the outside and you have one extra right there. Do the same thing over here. All right, two blocks right here. One, two, so you're sitting on top of that block right there. And then do three, one, two, and three. Come to the outside here, one, two. Make sure you're sitting on that block, do it again. Come to the outside right here. One, two, <laughs> two, three, four. And then you should have three blocks, one, two, and three. So it looks just like that from the inside. All right, on the second block, do the exact same thing. Just cover everything up one time. All right, go ahead and finish up to this block right here, covering everything up one time. And then we'll add something on the outside as soon as you get that done. All right, once you get that done, just put two blocks right here. So you're gonna have two at the top, and then you're gonna have one, three, and then two fours, and then two threes. So let's do the same thing on the other side. All right, now we're gonna reverse the pattern that we did coming up. So just go ahead and put three here, and then two, one, <laughs> two, one, two going that way. Do it two more times, one, two, one, two. And then five, one, two, three, four, and five, and one out here, just like that. All right, this layer here has three, and then the M pattern, so two little L patterns just like that, and make an M, and then go back one, and then two, one, two, and one, two, three, and then four, one, two, three, and four. All right, this layer here was two, four, and six. Hook up the back side and go two, two and two and then the next one is three the next one is four and the next one is four one two three and four really really easy here guys all right this layer here is two two and three and do that two more times three and three and now four covering up the last two blocks here just like that and then five covering up these two blocks one two three four and five and then three on the outside covering up these two blocks here. One, two, and three. So again, you should stop right here. 
All right, and the last layer is pretty self-explanatory. All we have to do is just go out here and pull all these blocks out until it stops in the little holes. All right, and that is the nose section, guys. Pretty painless, pretty fucking easy. The middle section is even easier. I'm gonna spin around this one time so you guys can take a look at it. And let's build the middle section. All right, like I said, the middle section is super, super fucking easy, guys. As far as the main shell here, it's just a solid tube. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna trace around the outside perimeter of the of the nose section and we're gonna go back 95 blocks again I have switched colors just so you can see the second section so starting with this block right here is one two three all the way down to 95 and then just start tracing around the outside just like this not like that <laughs> All right, just like that, and now pull every one of those back 95 blocks. I'll go ahead and do that, and we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so that is what you should have for your middle section, guys. Goddamn fucking rain, you fucking whore slut. All right, guys, that is your middle section. So it's 95 blocks long from here all the way to the other end right here. Right there. And that's what it looks like going down the middle. And all this other stuff is added. I'll show you how to lay that out here in just a minute. For your fin section, you're going to count back one, two, three, four, five, and six. On the seventh block, you're going to cut this next section out and put black wool behind it or bedrock, whatever you want to use. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So cut out eleven blocks, put black wool behind it, do the exact same thing on the other side, exactly across from it. All right, so starting on the first block, we're going to go eight, one, two, one on the outside <laughs> count that as one sorry one two three four five six seven eight now do another one right next to it eight and add two and now we're going to do four elevens so go ahead and run right up next to it just like this there's eight nine ten eleven so you have three exposed and you can do four rows of that and that's what your fin should look like and we're going to do the same thing on the other side All right, there's your front stabilizers, and then I've got a deck marking right here. You don't have to put that on there, but it's there so you can see how to lay that out if you want it. All right, the next thing is going to be laying out for the ballistic missiles. All right, so counting from this block right here is one, two, three, and keep counting back until you get to this block right here, which is 24. Now on the 25th uh, block back, that's where you're gonna start cutting these patterns out right here. So you're gonna leave a block, cut out three, leave a block, cut out three, three, and three. And do the same thing on both sides until you have 20 pits or 20 silos. So once you have all those dug out, like so this part's really easy, so that's why I'm just going over it just like this. The center line down the middle obviously is not white, guys. It's gray or black, whatever color you're doing your sub. And then our missiles will stick out one block. I'm using white wool. And I went down four blocks. And we'll go down and look at those here in just a minute. Now this block right here is my custom texture pack. I'm using sponge. If you do not have it, and you are on Xbox, you can pick up your yellow and your red and just alternate your red and yellow all the way around like this. All right, just like that. Or you, alternatively, you could start with the yellows in the corner and then put your reds on the inside. However you want to do it, it's up to you. It doesn't matter. That's just an alternative to, uh, to doing the construction thing like I've done. I call it my construction block, and uh, <laughs> it's a pretty uh, helpful block for a lot of my builds. All right, so next is the silo doors, and we're going to grab our black wool, and you should have two in here just like that. So you're going to cut these out on the outside on these three, so these will be missing. And you're going to put two black blocks like that. All right, so here you're going to put three blocks just like that. You're going to come to the outside, one, two, three, and go up three, two more times so that you've got nine blocks. Come back to the inside by three. And then on the outside here, you're going to have three. And then on the outside here, you're going to have three. These are really, really simple. So that's how you build all your doors. All right, from underneath, this is what you should have. Go back in with your dark gray wool or black, whatever you want to use here, and fill in. These will be filled in. And if you wanted to, you can go ahead and make it solid right down the middle and fill in all the gaps. Again, that will depend on your layout. 
uh, from underneath how you want to build your silos going down. And we'll cover all that in part two, guys. I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial. But if you watch the Ohio class submarine, it's built the exact same way. And you'll just start pulling your silos down from the outside or something along this uh, lines right here. You're just going to pull them three, one, three. <laughs> I guess I'm covering it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just go ahead and pull those down just like that cover those up and then pull your silos all the way down to the bottom floor and again watch part two guys we'll go over this a little bit more in detail uh, your silos again for your missiles one two three four five and then just put uh, two blocks on the outside for your missiles and that's pretty much it for the inside and the silos again really simple I'm pretty sure you guys can figure that part out it's not that hard if you can't get it, go and watch the uh, Ohio class tutorial. Uh, a lot of this stuff is based off the same design. I built these both at the exact same time. Uh, so <laughs> they're going to be pretty close to the same. All right, we're going to work on the tail section, guys. This is the hardest section, obviously, of the whole tutorial. This part took no time at all, and this will probably be three-quarters of the tutorial or better. So take a break, and we'll get started on the rear end. God, that's dirty. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and start building up the tail section, and we're going to build it up one layer at a time. So everything will be built off of this first position, as we call the first block. So when I start laying down each layer, and I say go back nine blocks or five blocks or whatever, you're going to count this as the first block. So if I say go back three, one, two, <laughs> two, three, that's what it's going to be like. So anyways, we're going to go back 37 blocks from this one right here. So there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 36 and 37. All right, on the outside of both, go back 16, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, move asshole all right we're going to come in one more block again and go six one two three four five six leaving three blocks at the end and that is the first uh layer of uh, the tail section guys all right next layer guys i'm going to go ahead and switch over to white and you go ahead and stay with whatever color that you're using for the sub all right so both these rows are going to be 16s we're going to pull them back two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four fifteen and sixteen should stop right there all right and then we're just going to make a zigzag pattern just like this and now go 23 blocks from that one right there so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one twenty two and twenty three all right now we're going to go six one two three four five six and then four one two three four and then five whoops one two three four and five now all you got to do is just pull all these back until you hit these little nooks right there all right that's what that side should look like do the exact same thing over here all right these two blocks right here we're going to pull back 19 so we already did 16 so just add three more all right one two and three now we're going to add 12 more to this block right here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now we're going to go to the inside and go 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. And now we're going to go 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Fuck you, asshole. And now 5. 1, Two, three, four, five. I had to kill them fucking bats. They were pissing me off. <laughs> Go two more blocks. Another two. And then one. And then four. Whoops. One, <laughs> two, three, and four. Now we do the same thing we did on the other layer, and I forgot to switch back to my blue, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on white for this layer. But just pull these back until you stop right at the other blocks underneath. All right, just like that, guys, another really easy, easy layer. And I do the same thing on this side, and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, guys, the next layer gets a little complicated, so pay attention. We're going to grab this block here, and we're going to go back 57. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
57. And we're going to go to the inside and we're going to go 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We're going to add one more on the outside, just like that. All right, we're going to go back to the inside. We're going to go in 2, 1, 2, and then 1 right here in the middle, just like that. Come back over to this side and go out 3, 1, 2, and 3. And now do 2, 1, 2, do another set of 2, and then a 1. All right, so that's what it's going to look like. All right, back down here. And this is going to be your center block right here. So this is actually going to be three wide. And run this one back to the center of this one right there. And now we're going to add 19 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18, and 19. Now we're going to add the bottom part of the fin. We're going to add 15 blocks from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That should leave four blocks right there. Now we're going to add 13. So we're going to go one to the inside right here. Add 13 blocks. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And you should have one block hanging over here. And then we're going to put 12 on the bottom. So you're going to come in one more right there. And just run it back even with the layer above it. Oops. Just like that. All right. Now we're going to go back over here. And we're going to pull everything back to the inside. All right, and that's what that side should look like, guys. Take a real good look at it. It's not real hard. It's a little more complicated than the other layers. And then just do the same thing on the other side, and we'll come back and take a look. All right, one slight adjustment on that layer, guys. Sorry, I screwed up. Uh, I had two blocks here originally, two here, and then one just like that. So I went ahead and took one more off, and uh, I ended up having to shift the tail end by one block. So when you're looking at it from the outside, you're going to have three, two, one one and now go 19 from this block right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen and nineteen and then everything's the same so if you'd already built this and you just come back and you were watching this all i did was i had four blocks on the end just like this and i just cut them off and then i had three blocks missing here and i just added three to the front just like that so you'll end up with the same exact uh, the same exact thing uh, you're just adding two more blocks uh, or taking those blocks out and adjusting those no big deal again that's what it looks like and I'll give you an aerial so you can go ahead and count out if you need to and readjust sorry about that and go ahead and finish the other side All right, this next layer is pretty much like the other layer, but we're going to go back 63 blocks, and I'm not going to count them because we know the one right next to it was uh, 57. So right there's 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, and 63, and it should be even with that block right there. Now we're going to do almost the same thing, but just a little bit different. Go to the inside, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We're going to go 2 blocks, 1, 2, make that 6, add 1 on the end bring this one here across so you got one just like that and now go two diagonal one two and then again and make that two and then make this two so you have four so that's what your pattern will look like all right from this block right here we're gonna go one two three four and five and then just go ahead and pull everything back like we've been doing so far so that's what it should look like we're going to go ahead and run this back to the end of the tail. Just like that. Now we're going to uh, place holding block and we're going to destroy these here in just a second, but we're going to go into the third block. One, two, three, and four. Now we're going to go back to our main body material and we're going to do a five by four. So one, two, three, four, and five by two, three, and four and make that solid. And do the same thing on this side. All right, and then you can take out your placeholding blocks, and that layer is finished by finishing the other side, and I'll show it to you. All right, guys, this next section we're going to break into two pieces, and we're going to go by that 63 that we just did on the last time. 
or the last run. So we're going to go to the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to pull all those back by 63. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we have two big walls just to the outside of this one right here. So it'll stop right there and it'll go up seven. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Fill that in, make a solid wall, and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so that's what you should have right now. So we got 63 blocks by seven high, two walls on each side. We're gonna build this middle section with the tower, and then we're gonna uh, build the back section. So let's keep moving. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and grab this block right here, and we're gonna pull that back 63. And now we're just gonna backtrack six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six and then one on the end just like that same thing all right starting on this block we're gonna go six one two three four five and six gonna go back to the outside and set on top this layer here and go back 19 two three four and 19 now we're gonna go back to the inside and go 32 one two <laughs> two three four and it should stop right here. So you should have these six blocks right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're just gonna trace that to the inside. One, two, three, four, and five. Go to the inside by one and come across three, just like that. All right, so on the outside of that, this is gonna be three. This is gonna be seven. Three, four, five, six, seven. And then 13 on this one here. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Let's count that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks exposed. And then run the one to the inside, the same thing, and add 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Just like that. And of course, same thing over there. All right, guys, next layer, we're going to go three blocks right here, just like that. We're going to have three more blocks right here. We're going to cover up this wall. So you had 19, we're gonna go back to the inside and we're gonna add six more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. All right, we're gonna go back to the inside right here and we're gonna add four. One, two, three, <laughs> two, three, and four. I'm gonna put one block behind here. Now we're gonna go 11 counting this block right here. So there's 12 total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. And you should land right here. Now we're gonna do 10 more blocks. Go to the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. You should stop right here. And we should be able to finish out with six, four, and three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four, and three. So like that, we're gonna go to the inside right here and put three. And go ahead and connect those across. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mark the center of this right here. So you've got four on each side, and we're going to start pulling these back just like we did on the other layer beneath it. We're going to pull back one, two, expose two, pull this even, expose two. So you got one, one, two, two. The next one is five, so go ahead and pull this back. One, two, three, four, and five. The next one is seven, so pull this back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the next one is nine, so right here. There's already two exposed, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Just like that right there. So we got one, one, two, two, five, seven, and nine. Do the same thing over here, and then it'll connect right there. So go ahead and do that, guys. All right, guys, the top piece right here is really, really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna cover up everything that you see. So go ahead and start filling this in all the way to the inside, all the way to the back there, and we'll have two block. <clears throat> excuse me, we'll have two blocks on the outside that we're gonna have to add, and uh, once you get that done, I'll show you where they're at. All right, so there is your top piece on. Now we're gonna add a couple more blocks right here. Apparently these, these were extras right here, but we need those covered up. So go ahead and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do the same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then you're gonna have one more block right at the end of this run on this uh, stretch of four put one block here and one block over here and that'll finish off that and we can work on the tower all right guys now that we have the whole main body done 
and we're going to save this part for last and we're going to go ahead and get you guys above the water and finish off this tail section so let's go back down here where we left off and we're going to start on this side and we're going to put a block in and we're going to go six two three four five six we're going to hook up on the back side and go one two three four hook up on the back side again cover up two blocks and go four hook up on the back go three and then four now go back the opposite way one two three four and cover up that and four more one two three four whoops four just like that so you're gonna have the same thing two on this side two on that side and it just mirrors that other side and we're gonna go back and do the same thing here one two three and four and one two three four five and six oops five excuse me sorry all right now we're gonna have two rows of four one two three and four and then one two three and four just like that and go ahead and fill this in through the middle go all the way to the back of the tail and overhang by one block all right now we're gonna go to the outside of these platforms here and I know mine are white <laughs> and I'm gonna have to switch back to blue but we're gonna go to the outside and we're just gonna outline it with four blocks and same thing over here and I'm gonna pick up a block of gold and we're gonna put two of them just like that right here so we're gonna have the same thing on this side gonna go to the outside of this one and do the same thing we just did over there four blocks three four and three <laughs> and four all right guys do the exact same thing on that side and we'll take a look at it next layer we're gonna go five blocks so we're gonna connect in right here off the, the back side of this wall and we're gonna go five two three four and five now we're gonna go four so we're gonna set one on top there and go two three and four now we're going to go three, so we're going to go right inside that little hole and put three. I'm going to hook up on the back side and go three more. One, two, three. And then make that six. And then we're going to trace this back so that this two becomes three. And then you have three more on the inside just like that. So we're starting to trace around this by adding a little bit of beef to it. All right, let's go back this way and do three more. One, two, and three. Do two sets of two hooked up on each other just like this. And bring this across and make two more and then add three. One, two, and three. Come back to the middle and run that to the end. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right, back over here to this piece. Again, we're gonna switch back over. We're gonna go to the outside and add four. Same thing over here. Go back to our gold, and we're gonna use one for a holding block and go up by one, and then back two just like this, and then we're gonna come off of that one and go back two just like that. Now the other side is just a mirrored image of that, so again, we're gonna go on the inside. We're gonna go up by one, Get rid of it go back make two and then build this up to the outside oops <laughs> and then go back to our main color and put four on the outside all right and now do the same thing we did over here over there and then we'll take a look at it all right guys this next layer is a little complicated so pay attention we're going to start here on the outside and go seven one two three four five six seven all right, we're going to go to the inside and put two right there. All right, make that four, two, and one. All right, so we're going to go to the inside by one, and we're going to come across back two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to put three on the front, one, two, and three. All right, this turns into 14 total. So we've got, already got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and 14. Now we're going to add one piece underneath. We're going to leave three in the back and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and leave one in the front. All right, back to the inside of that, and we're going to turn this inside one into seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to do two rows of six. So five more blocks on top of those first two. All right, we're going to pull this one back and have one block extra. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this next row just runs right to the inside crosses over top of this back piece and stops right there all right so we're gonna count back one two three four five leave that one open on the sixth block we're gonna add four one two three and four put another row right next to that and then fill in that little hole all right we're gonna pull this one two three four and stop right here cover up this hole and then we're gonna run this piece right here one two three four five six and seven and it should stop right there all right, we need one more block in here so that you have a two block gap. So looking at it from the top, you have three, three, and then seven, and now six. Just to the inside and fill that hole. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and it should stop right there. And then we're gonna add three. One, two, and three. 
and then one, two, and three. And then that finishes the whole right side. Let's grab our gra uh, gold blocks. We're gonna put two here. We're gonna go to the inside. Whoops, not down there. We're gonna put one here, one here, and we're gonna go straight up from this one, two blocks. So it looks just like that. Now we're gonna mirror that on this side. So once you get this wall right here, one, two, three, four. Oops, let's go back to the white, sorry. One, two, three, four. And then we'll just pull that back around. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. And all that does is just mirrors this side right here. So there's nine blocks, here's nine blocks, and then there's there's the two blocks that'll connect into the rest of this when you bring it back around. All right, go back to our gold, and we're gonna put two blocks here. Come to the inside, put two blocks right there, and then go straight above this one and go two blocks back. So that's what you look like on that side. All right, guys, it's a tricky layer, but watch it again slow and do the same thing over there and meet it up to here. When I'm done, I'll get a shot for you. All right, guys, we've got a couple more tricky layers here. We're going to start right here on this block, and we're going to run this all the way back to the back part of this right here. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side just because I can. All right, there we go. Now let's go back over here, and we're going to come in by one and then come across go to the end of this and overhang by two blocks all right we're gonna put one more block right here we're gonna to come to the front we're gonna pull this all the way down overhang by one come back to the inside make sure you see three blocks one two three and come across right here and then add one in the corner just like that and now fill this middle in solid all right let's go around to the inside right here you're gonna leave four blocks, one, two, three, four. On the fifth block, put one. And then on the next round, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And it should stop right there. Now we're gonna go two, one, and one. All right, let's go to our gold block. And we're gonna go right here in the center. And we're gonna go up and over one, and then back two, just like that. Grab our blocks of iron, and that's gonna connect in right in the center. So you just have two blocks here and two blocks there. And that's the center of the propeller. So that gets pulled to the inside. Go ahead and pull about four or five blocks in just so you can find it on the inside when you start doing your engines and uh, reactors and all that good shit. So one, two, three, four, five should be fine. All right, go back to your main body color. All right, make this block here two. Hook up on the back, make that two. Hook up on the back and go six. Two, three, four, five, and six. Go to the inside of that and we're gonna put two blocks, two blocks right here. So this kind of cuts in between uh, so if, imagine if that turns, it leaves a little cut right there, guys. All right, looking at it from the back, we're going to go back one more, two, three, four, and five. So that should be your center block right here and two on each side. All right, go back to the inside, and we're going to fill this gap in, two, three, and two more right there. And now add three more blocks right here, or two more blocks, rather. No, nope, three more blocks right there. All right, and that is that side. Go ahead and get another look at it. And you're going to do the same thing over there, just the opposite. All right, next layer, not too bad. Just a little bit easier than the one before. Go ahead and run this all the way back. Just like that. And we're going to cut out one block. One, two, three, four, and cut one out right there. And let's go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. All right, one, two, three, four, and open that up. Now let's come back over here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four. And put one on the outside. And one, two, three, four, and five. And leave those two blocks exposed right there. All right, run that all the way to the front and stop one short. Go just to the inside of this and cover that and put one right here and make this solid. All right, starting right here, we're gonna go nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And then five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we're gonna go two, four, and six. All right, we're gonna hook up on that and go three. Hook up on that one and go three. And hook up on that one and go five. One, two, three, four, and five. Leaving two blocks at the end. Hook up on the back side of that and go two. Hook up on the back side of that and go two. And then one right in the center, just like that. Do the exact same thing on that side. It's not too bad. And we'll take a pick when we're done. All right, guys, I'm going to do a little fly around here just to kind of give you some checkpoints to look for and see if everything is going together good. I know it's very complicated. There's a lot of different blocks here, but I am sure you guys are doing it just fine. Let's go ahead and move around. 
get a good look at everything. All right, and then to finish that layer off on both sides, we're gonna go ahead and add three more sets of gold blocks. One here, holder block, another holder block, and then another one here. So all you're doing is just skipping a block in between just like that. So this is your center and you got four pieces around it and two blades come off like that and then this is the hook from the other blade. So let's look at the other side. And it's just the opposite. So we're going to go two, two, and two just like that. Alright, the layers should start getting easier. We're right in this section right here, and we're just about done with the back. So we're going to start on the side. One, two, three, four, five. Go to the inside and go four. One, two, three, four. Go to the inside of that and go three. One, two, and three. Hook up on the back side and go three. And you should stop right there in that groove. Alright, we're just going to build that four across. Two, three, and four. Just like that. And then we're going to cut out this block right here above the the shaft here. Alright, back around to this side. Hook up on the back side of this block right here and go two. Hook up again and go two. Hook up and go five. One, two, three, four, and five. And you should stop right here in that hole. Hook up on the back side, two blocks on that, and then one more should, whoops, should fill in this gap right here. Now we're going to go to the outside of that and put one, two, three, and four. So it's just going to mirror this piece right here with one extra block right there. And now three more on the back to cover this little hole. One, two, and then one right on top of that right here. All right, we're gonna go to this side. We're gonna have one, two, three, and four. And finish off this top piece here by leaving one block up front, running this down, and leaving three in the back. Go back to your gold blocks. And now we're gonna put a center in this one here. So go up and over one, just like that. Same thing over here on this piece. We're gonna go up and over one, just like that. So again, that's what we're looking at. Let's do the other side right here. So you're gonna have four blocks here. One, two, three, four. And we'll go ahead and finish that. Leave one block exposed. Leave three in the back. Grab your gold blocks. Go in, set, go in, and set. Just like that. And finish this other side, just like this. Really, really easy, and we'll take a look. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish this little piece around the two propellers. So we're going to go back to our white. We're going to go to the inside. One, whoops, one, two, three, and four. Same thing over here. One, two, three, and four. Grab our gold blocks, and we're going to go just to the inside by two, just like that. And now we're going to cover it up. So go up on top, one, two, three, and four, and go across until you reach the other side. All right, so that's what that should look like. And now let's... No, that ain't what it should look like. Oops, these two blocks, sorry guys. <laughs> they go off, they go right here off of that one. Thought that looked a little goofy. So now we should have like two S's just like that. All right, let's do the other side. All right, apparently I'm missing a block right here, guys. I was just flying around double checking that. So you should have like a little T right there. Again, that's uh, something I missed on the left side. You guys should be fine if you did it from the other side. But anyways, we're going to go to the inside. One, two, three, and four. And we're going to go on top of that. Fill it in. Go back to your gold blocks. And let's figure out where that S goes. Right here on the inside. Two blocks just like that. So now you got an S and an S. And those back pieces are finished. Alright, next layer, guys goes to the inside of this right here. I went ahead and turned this gray just to uh, make the contrast a little bit easier for me and hopefully for you too. But we're going to go to the inside and we're going to go six blocks. Two, three, four, five, and six. So we're just going to overhang this last set of four uh, by one block. Now we're going to do four sets of four and uh, we're going to hook them up on the inside just like this. So one, two, three, and four. And it should stop right there. Now we're going to leave two on the front, hook up on the back. Four, just like that. Leave one on the front. One, two, three, and four four and it should go in that little hole right there and I'll go back the opposite way one two three and four so that's what it should look like stop fucking raining on my shit god fucker all right so let's go back to the inside and we're going to do two sets of three so just here leave one block exposed one two three hook up on the back side of this one here and go one two and three and it should go right there in that little slot two sets of two back to back hooking up one two one, two. All right, move those over. Two, 
three, four, and five, and it should fill in that gap right there. All right, finish up the tail by going one, two, three, four, five, and six. And go ahead and build that other piece, and that side is done. All right, we're getting closer, guys. Right here on this layer, we're going to put four blocks, one, two, three, and four. And now we're going to pull this back, five, two, three, four, five. Pull this back five and add two, one, two. So we're just going to start filling this in now. That stops here by one. The next one goes to the inside and stops back by one. Now we're going to add five blocks out here. So we need one, two, three, four, and five to, to go right in there. All right, on the back side of these two blocks, go four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to go five, leaving one block up there. So one, two, three, four, and five. And it should stop just inside of that. Leave two blocks, one, two, and go four. One, two, three, four, and do that twice. Just like that. And go to the inside and finish the tail out all the way to the back. It's pretty simple. Do the other one. Right, guys, we're just going to keep filling this in, but we're going to have two blocks here. One, two, and then just start working the outsides. Pulling this back, stopping right here. And I'm just going to outline this, and then I'll come back and I'll show you the inside. But all we're going to do is we're going to fill in these holes just like we've been doing. And then your tail goes all the way back. like that all right so now we got that outline we need the inside and that's super easy two one one and then finish making this solid same thing over here two one and one really easy all right, the next one's just as easy. It's going to connect right to the back of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One row just like this, and one row just like that. Now let's build the tail, and then this part is done. All right, guys, let's build the tail starting right here on this block. This is what the pattern's going to look like. One, up one, and then from here on out, it's two up above each one. So we're just going up by twos. Two, two. And we're going to do that four times total. So this is the third one. And this is the fourth one. That's going to go back eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's what the front looks like. And we can go ahead and pull that all the way up. The next one's going to be one shorter. And the next one behind that's going to be one shorter. And you're just going to fill that in solid, guys, and the tail's done. And let's go ahead and move to the tower, which is pretty easy, pretty quick, and we are done with this sub. All right, guys, we are on the home stretch. We are building the tower. So we're going to go ahead and locate it. If uh, you don't have any deck markings on, I'm going to show you where to locate it. It's going to be 12 blocks behind this block right here, so that's one. So that's the first solid row right behind the silos. Count two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, guys, so starting on that 13th row right here, we're going to put two like that. One, two, two, one, and then one to the outside right here. And then this is going to be 14. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and 14. Do the same thing over here. Two, one, two, two, one, and then 14. All right, we're going to double up this inner row. Same thing on this side. And we're going to do it again. We're going to put two here and two here. Two here and then three across the front. So we'll do the same thing over here. Two here, two here, and then two right there. All right, starting on the back of this right here, we're going to add three blocks. One, three, one, two, and then one right here. Two, three, four, and five. And this should be the center line right there. So you have five blocks across the back. We're going to do the same thing. Two, one, three, one, and then three. All right, let's go over here. And we're going to finish making this piece solid and this piece solid right there. And we're going to do groups of two. Two, four, six, and eight. Two, four, six, and eight. And then connect these in the middle. 
That should leave you three blocks just like that. Connect them to the back. Bring this next one up and stop one short. And put one and then three here. One and then three there. All right, we're going to locate for the middle tower how we walk down inside of it. Go to the fourth block, one, two, three, and put one here, here, and here. One there, one there, skip a space, and then put three across here just like that and cut a hole right there. And that's where our ladder is going to line up all the way down. All right, this next layer, we're going to just start outlining everything to the outside. And build up the middle. All right, we're going to go to the outside back here. We're going to go one block short on each side and cover this up. And on this block right here, we're going to go back five. Two, three, four, and five should be one block short of that blue one. Now we're going to go diagonal one, diagonal one, and then five blocks, and then three blocks. All right, we're going to double up these outside rows starting right here. And we're going to run this back and stop one block short. And get rid of the damn rain. And same thing on the other side as the rain finishes. And stop one block short. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to outline everything one more time. And build the center up. All right, this back piece going to put one here, one here, and then you're just going to cover this empty section up. Come across that wall right there. <laughs> that sounded dirty as fuck, guys. Sorry. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's that layer. All right, this next layer, we're going to come to the inside. So we're going to go in by one, two, three, and then we're going to make an L-shaped pattern here and also here. And then we're going to go back by two. Come on, you sticky bitch. And then go to the inside of each side. And it should stop just inside of the corner. Right there. All right, we're going to come in by one, come in by one. We're going to put these first two on the wall. Take this back four, two, three, four, two, three, four. Make that solid. And put three on the back. And then make this solid across the top leaving just the hole in the middle. All right, next layer is really easy. We're just gonna cover up this hole. All right, when you reach this area right here, your letters are obviously, hopefully by now should have been obvious, your letters are gonna go to the inside just like this. And when you reach this level, this is a good place to put a torch on the inside. So when you're going down through, it's lit up really nice. So you have two block gap right there. And then you're going to put three more in the back. One, two, and three. Finish covering this up. And then this last section is too wide. Just like that. All right, this next layer is super easy. All we're going to do is just outline the outside just like this. And on the side, we're going to go nine blocks, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Put one here, do the same thing over here. Now this is where I use uh, half slabs. You can use the cobble or the stone slab, it doesn't matter. Put them to the inside just like this, and then finish filling the wall in just like this. And that's going to start your, your bridge area. Now the rest is really easy. Just finish outlining everything and make it solid. All right, now we're going to go to our glass box and we'll put three, one, two, and then three down the side. Go back to your body color. And then the rest of this is all going to get outlined. But let's lay out for the inside. All right, I switched that back over to blue for you guys. Put three here, make it nine. Grab your half slab. And you can put one here and one here. Go back to your body color. And you're going to make a U shape around the ladder area. Put a ladder on the inside just like that. You run this wall down. 
you're going to leave a two block walking space behind here so you're going to fill this these back two pieces in solid and put little corner things on just like that and now we're just going to cover everything up build the center up we're going to switch back over and we're going to come to the inside and start outlining that All right, when you get right here, there should actually be a double wall. So go ahead and put one more here and stop one block short. Just like that, and then go ahead and make it two walls thick. Just like that. All right, we're going to build the middle up again. Three, three, three. And then the horseshoe pattern here on the end. And I put my uh, stone slabs on the top hopefully Xbox users by God I hope you guys got this update by now <laughs> if not I know it's coming really 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 soon put another ladder right here go back to your body color and we're gonna go three to the inside one two three oops I bet we're gonna put three on the outside one to the inside and then back out just like that and run the wall down and same thing over here And on the second block, just inside of this, that is where I put my doors. So in that opening, when you get done, uh, put your doors there. <laughs> Alright guys, this is it. This is the top. Really simple. We're just going to cover up everything. So just go ahead and cover up everything. <laughs> cover up everything. <laughs> All right, on top, count back three, put two blocks. Count back one, two, three, four, put three blocks. Count back one, two, three, and put three blocks like that, and one on top. Right back here should be your hole going down. For an entrance, you can put a trap door in there and then put your ladders going down on the inside. Just like this. And then you put your trap door on that side. And let's put our fence posts on the top you can use either, either use regular fences or another rack it doesn't matter I usually put about two here about three or four in the middle and the same thing back here about two like that outline that a couple pieces outside here one here one there a couple around the middle and then a few around the front just like this and if you want to, you can put a redstone torch on top or a regular torch on top. And that is it, guys. We are finished. That is the Typhoon Class Submarine. Version number two. Uh, if you're going to build it like uh, the ones that I had over there, all you have to do is rip off this outside shroud where it connects into the main body, which should be right about in here. So you'll tear it off here and there. And then I think it uh, should be one block to the outside. You may have to do a little fudging to get it off of there. <laughs> and you'll figure it out. It's not real hard, but uh, once you get down through there and you want to rip the sides off and the shrouds off, uh, like I said, it should be really, really easy to figure it out. And then the one that had the blade in the middle, all I did was just thicken this up back here by that block, that block, and I came out by about three or four. Like I said, it's really simple. I'm, I'm not going to go into that and try to dig all that apart. I'll let you guys do it because that's what creativity and time wasting is for, I guess. Uh, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, really enjoy the second version of this. Make sure that you uh, look for the second part to this video where I'll do a tear apart like I did the Ohio class submarine. And I'll show you where everything goes or where I think it goes and where I think it looks good. And... Uh, other than that, like always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Later.